Hello, Prim friends. Oh my goodness. I barely walked around here at all and I thought, nope, I've got to start over and just start with the camera and then you'll see my reactions to things <laughs> as I see them. Check out this wheelbarrow for the barrel. Is that just awesome? So this is this event here is for the Christmas at the Coop. And this place should definitely be on your radar. They are open this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, and I will make sure that you have the, um, the dates, the address, the hours will all be on the screen for you. This is the first time they've actually had a tented area as well as all the wonderful things that are in um, the shop. But this is just such a cute, cute shop and layout and her prices are phenomenal. Um, just a lot of fun here. So a couple things. Um, she does not ship. It just has gotten so expensive for shipping. Her prices are wonderful. Fly here. <laughs> That's all I can say. You need to be here for this sale. This is, again, Saturday and Sunday. And I will make sure that the hours are on the screen and in the description as well, as well as several other shows that are going on um, this upcoming next several weeks between simple goods earlier times gathered treasures um also western the western reserve antique shop has their open house beginning on thursday it's thursday friday and saturday and i'll put a little information up on the screen for that one here as well i was not able to get back there um, to do a video from that shop. It is phenomenal. I will post in the description below um, some information and a previous video from there too. So definitely should be on your radar, um, especially if you are on the east uh, side of Ohio for sure. Do you see what I'm seeing here? Is this wonderful? I love that blue on that box and she just does an amazing job of staging all of these wonderful finds. There's a great barn vent with the skates, beautiful box here, this little trunk, oh it looks like the lid is coming right out the top. I love this small collar, probably off of a little goat or something. And then one of the most wonderful things that we've really gleaned from watching, or uh, from coming here and watching how she displays things is these crate boxes with the shelves make such a wonderful impact in um, in displaying some things and I will be doing a video upcoming here it will air sometime next week um, but it will be inside my mom's house all decorated again also for fall and Halloween and I will do um, our home and then a friend of ours as well so definitely be watching for that if you haven't lately, double check, make sure that you are um, subscribed. That falls off sometimes, it's not your fault. I'm not doing it, it just sort of happens sometimes. Look at all of those milk cans. So this is the first time that they've done the tent, but hopefully the weather will hold out for this upcoming Saturday and Sunday. And I intend to be here. I've already will be doing everything in my power to be here on Saturday morning as well. Because I've already, in this little area, seen things that I would like to buy. Look at these wonderful old 
wagon wheels and the trough. These are wonderful for raised beds as well. What do they call them? Hot, uh, cowboy hot tubs. Check out this wagon. With the big barrel on the inside and then you could put a real Christmas tree in it if you wanted to. These bird houses with the tin roofs. That green one looks like a very large purple martin house. And then check out all of these milk cans. And with lid. There's some more back there. We'll check that out here in a minute. Look at those old porch posts. The house is also open um, for tours for the open house and I will do a whole separate video from inside her house so you will want to make sure to see that because it is just there just are no words. I can't even describe how incredible their home is. So, if you look out this way, they attached this old building, and if my memory serves, this was the top part of a building. The bottom part was just too far gone, so they weren't able to um, save that part but this is the upper portion of it and they've attached it to the corn crib over here. Is that just so charming? So this was not, you know, this is put here. This is specifically here because they made it so. What a vision. There's a great large metal wagon wheel and these I think are rose hips look at that and then the galvanized buckets filled with greens and rose hips and the ladder sections those are great for hanging blankets over, kind of neatens things up if you have quilts. I love using um, ladders for that, and I just haven't found one that I like, but I am seeing some here that I like, so that may be an addition to the cape as well. I just need to be here on Saturday morning when they open. Look how sweet. All right, let's get up on the porch. She did tell me they added a porch to their home. So if you've been here before, um, you want to come back because things are things are different. Things have been added to. Oh my goodness! There's a big Christmas tree inside. Wait till you see that. Love that Santa. Love the barrels. Look at that great barn door on there. really cute lantern you know you could get a lantern like that and put one of the flicker candles in it like we saw from meander hill if you haven't yet seen that um, tour of that meander hill it's an 1860s barn you definitely want to take a look back I've been posting a lot of videos kind of one after another after another after another so make sure you go back and check wonderful that looks like a chimney cupboard that is
is awesome. And look at this neat basket with all of these adorable gingerbread men. Pretty corner cupboard. There, it looks, look at that green painting on that. Lovely. She does a beautiful job organizing things, gathering them together in order to make such a beautiful display. Here, all of these great lanterns. Or here, this box, again, all the different levels, and the bells. That just makes so much more of an impact or statement in the decorating. And check out this Christmas tree in a huge basket. Oh my goodness, and look at Look at what the um, snowflakes are. They are the like water spigot turnoffs, the vintage ones, and they're lots of them are different. The snowmen are so cute. What a charming Christmas tree. And check out these little cart wheels all across here, across the beam, all decorated. $12. Oh my gosh. Need to be here. We'll go outside in a few. Let's check out this way. Oh, all the little candles on here. Look at all the lanterns. Oh my, I need to be cloned for Saturday. There's so many things that I already see that I want. But I will be here in order to shop. Those are so sweet. Look at this little red one. Look at the size of this crock carried some kind of a liquid, 10 gallon, and then the double handle at the top. Beautiful. Look at the early sleigh bells. And all of these great cheese boxes those are really cute for decorating, for, um, you know, making some make-dos, putting some little drawers here and there. Look at how sweet this room looks. Lots of little smalls here, some candles. All right. Wait till you see behind me. Oh my gosh. And there. So all decorated is the corn crib. Christmas at the coop. So Saturday the hours are 10 till 4 and Sunday the hours are 12 till 4. Christmas tree with the cookie cutters on them. And that one looks like a little candle. There's Santa. And then the sweet clip on little mini candles. Love those boxes in the back with the shelves. Oh goodness. Wow.
Wow. So this shop is normally not open every day. It's open a weekend per month during the good weather. And the very best thing you can do is look online on Facebook for the group The Cluttered Coop. And that will tell you um, what their days open and hours are. I know um, they did not open in September um, to really give them a chance to get so much more ready for the open house here for Christmas. There's a pretty sieve. Oh, look at that. The door is so cute. It has the top of a rake to hold the little sign. So, so clever. I think it's probably set up this way right now, but I think when you pay, that is set up here in this area, in this middle part of the of the shop. And again, look at the, these are, you know, crate boxes with shelves in them. Look at this little one back here. Just such a wonderful way to display our primitive pieces. It's so clever. And like I said, it's it really struck my mom and she fell for that look and has that in now one of her favorite areas of their home um, is displayed with that. So I can't wait to to share that with you. Look at that large pierced tin lantern. That is awesome. Nice little match holder candle box on the wall. And then here with the beams as the door entrance to the coop, to the uh, to the corn crib area. More barrels. Just love it. All of these wonderful feed sacks with all of the different Names, what is that, McMillan, Pillsbury, this one's from Attica, Ohio, there's a Wagner, something from Canal Fulton, more of the boxes displayed. The prim quilts. Some flax um, oh yeah, what are those called? They're for flax breaking for not for breaking flax, but for combing the flax. Look at the little sock dryer for the children's socks. More quilts. And some pretty, really pretty bowls. I love how they are displayed. So one is upside down, the other on top of it. There's a gorgeous green one. And again, everything is so neat and tidy. The wooden blocks are just 50 cents a piece for the old wooden blocks. Some old flashcards. Some long underwear in the red. And several of these whisk brooms. 
that really have been quite a antique um, kind of staple that so many of our prim homes have collections of those the bottle brush trees and look at how many washboards just one after another after another and all the sweet children's clothes and socks hanging there from the, from the little drying rack area all right well we'll keep walking through the shop and around to the back where there is another little building. Look how sweet that is, the box. And then the bells decorating the greens there. weather is changing a bit. It was a beautiful day. We've had several gorgeous days. I'm actually still cutting sunflowers at the farm, which is crazy that here we are at the end of October and we're still, we have not had a killing freeze yet. I'm ready for the farm to be done. There's a bunch of sap buckets and more barn vents. A railroad Heart. I'm going to zoom in back here. Can you see back there to the back of their little building? Look at that. She is so artistic. How cute. And then here, several of the shutters with that wonderful curved top. Oh my gosh. Here's some of the chicken feeders or waterers are cut for, they look like a um, snowflake. And here there's Santa Claus cut into the side of some kind of a large tin can. And all the galvanized buckets. Big chicken feeder or chicken nesting box. Wow. And then this neat building here as well. Oh, look at the doors with the tall Christmas trees and here all of the I just I'm all every time I come here every single time I come here I'm always just just overwhelmed by how incredibly creative the primitives are displayed this doesn't happen by accident. <laughs> she is so good. Here's a neat cupboard top. Big green cabinet. That is awesome. That would be great in a laundry room. You know, open in a living room, depending on how prim you are. A chicken carrier course because it's called the cluttered coop it has that element lots of those kind of um, pieces here as well here another cute wooden box little crate and then it has the little like feed sack but that's for salt on there I cut my finger today making dinner you know, people say you don't do that if you're using a um, sharp knife, but unfortunately, I seem to only cut myself when I am using a sharp knife, so I'm fine. Caught me a little off guard. Such cute stuff. This piece for 
grating soap. So if, like for laundry. Look at this here for the the Christmas tree. When we were in Germany, this reminds me of it. When we were in Berlin, um, we were there at Christmas time, and the Christmas markets in Berlin had the most charming tables. I've never seen it anywhere else. But the tables were that you like bar height tables that you could stand at, and then they had a um, tabletop that would sit somewhere here in the. I'll have to look and see if I can find a picture of it. I, I'm not making much sense there with that. I think it's partly I'm overwhelmed by what I'm seeing here as well. But I'm going to look for that picture because I just love it. And I asked my husband, so one of these days you have to make me one of those. And that just reminded me of it. There's a neat, looks like a medicine cabinet maybe with the, with the mirror on it. And then look at this Christmas tree. And these, these are spindles from something. Look how cute. Oh, and there's baskets right over here. So the little spindles and the snowflakes and the Santas. Are they ever cute? Look at all the, the little spindle pieces. And the checkers. My goodness. So as you're watching this, let me know in the comments what would go home with you, first of all. And second of all, are you going to be here? Are you coming to shop at Christmas in the coop? Let me know in the comments down below. Absolutely adorable. I can't, I can't even, I've seen so many things I would love to take home with me. adorable all right well look at that old wagon filled with the greens and holly well did you enjoy this video we've had uh, several in the last several days and there are more coming like I said simple goods earlier times the shop owners home as well you just want to make sure that you are subscribed. Tell your friends to watch the cape on the corner. Go ahead and hit share. Because sometimes maybe you might not be in this area, but maybe one of your um, online friends are and they would be able to come. Maybe come for you. So take care everyone and we will see you in the next one very soon.